Hey, everybody, it's Andrew Morgan. I'm here with Tim Fournette, the CISO of Radar Solutions. Tim, how are you today? I'm doing very well. How about yourself? Good, Tim. Hey, we're here to do a quick three minute, almost like public service announcement talking about how Cyber CNS is helping MSPs with Log4j and offering a free trial for the next 30 days to continuously scan environments. Um, Tim, let me let you just take it right away. Talk about what Cyber CNS is. You've been involved with it and contributed as many MSPs have um, over the past year and a half and gotten it to where it is today. Talk a little bit about the platform and how they're helping MSPs uh, today with Log4j. Absolutely. So uh, as you mentioned, we've been involved for a little while. Uh, Cyber CNS is a vulnerability management system and assessment tool. Um, it's built uh, with input for MS, uh, by MSPs. It's, it's made for MSPs specifically uh, to provide vulnerability management, monitoring, and uh, help with remediation for uh, all of our client environments. So it monitors uh, PCs, servers, network devices, uh, external uh, services, uh, web services, ports, uh, firewalls, uh, all those things that um, we need to keep an eye on. So uh, we can deploy this as an agent or as a probe within uh, customer networks and pull this data in to help us make decisions, provide feedback to our clients on uh, what do we patch, when do we patch, what do we have in our environment, uh, what kind of software is running, all, all these things. Um, so, you know, obviously when the, uh, the Log4j news hit, um, one of the first things we did was we went to cyber CNS and, and we saw that, you know, everyone started asking, hey, first off is, is cyber CNS uh, patched against this? And they rapidly got that patch internally uh, for the vulnerability, just like uh, we, we hope that people do. Um, but also they, they started to work on uh, a way to determine what inside our environment is running the applications that are affected and whether or not those applications have been patched and, and mitigated against uh, the log4j uh, vulnerability. Um, so uh, we can show a little bit about the, the system and how uh, it works a little bit and I'll show you where we're seeing the log4j data. So here's a, a test environment. We see that we have assets, we have uh, applications, um, and then they provide a, a dashboard view. So we can uh, show their dashboard and see that we've got you know, two instances of potential log4j vulnerabilities within this environment. Uh, what's interesting here is they don't just show that you have the jar files that are potentially impacted, uh, but we also see that uh, in one case in this test environment that the vulnerability has been fixed, it's been mitigated. Um, they have either applied a new update or they fixed the configuration file uh, to show that this application is not vulnerable. Uh, and this one is still vulnerable. Um, obviously it's a test environment. So that's to be expected that we keep one just for demonstration purposes. Fantastic. Tim, and coming out, correct me if I'm wrong, as you, you know, go into uh, one or two other things, um, I think tonight they're going to have external scanning available. Um, and um, so, yeah, talk, talk to us a little about what you wanted to share here. Right. So, yeah, this is obviously a developing situation. Um, and they were, you know, very uh, responsive and getting some features out the door as quickly as possible for uh, identifying what we have internally. Um, but we've also got some external uh, scan functionality coming. Uh, a lot of people are concerned about services that are exposed uh, outbound or things that are maybe out of their control, but they still want to, to query to see if, if there's a vulnerability. So they'll be adding the functionality to do some external scans uh, added to the existing external scan function of the system to be able to you know, give us extra data, more information about what do we have in our environments and what do we need to do about it? Fantastic. So Tim, um, in wrapping things up, I'll post this out. We'll get it up on YouTube, on LinkedIn, and then I'll put the URL to go to CyberCNS. Um, like I said, 
no charge at all, fully functional for 30 days. Um, there's no commitment, there's no credit card needed, get it out there, scan your internal environments, your, you know, yourself, your clients. Um, and then, like I said, the next probably, you know, let's just be conservative 24 hours, you'll be able to start hitting uh, external IPs as well. All right. Yep, it's, it's an easy setup. Um, Ages can be deployed with your RMMs or with other types of script, group policy, whatever you got. Um, but it's a uh, it's very, very smooth deployment process. Fantastic. Tim, thanks for doing this. Wishing everybody a fantastic day. And uh, let me know if I can help in any way.